In this tutorial, we are going to create a basic, basic AI uh, using uh, six DOF. And uh, before we begin, here's a small problem, uh, namely UE4 uh, by default uh, doesn't have any any 3D navigation. So uh, I'm going to use a third-party plugin and it's called uh, Don's AI Navigation Plugin and uh, as you guessed uh, it uh, uses like uh, voxel or grid-based navigation and works in, uh, in 3D. This is actually a free plugin and it's very good, I recommend it. So basically you get it from marketplace, you have to enable it uh, reset the editor and so on, just like with any other plugin. So uh, I'll leave uh, the marketplace link in the description. Anyway, so now that we have it activated, we can start uh, by by creating a, an AI controller. This is done by going to Blueprint class. like this and let's name it I don't know just second good enough and in our ship blueprint we need to also do a couple of things namely AI controller class we are going to change it to our our new controller this one and next uh, we go to our six of movement down to autopilot and autopilot uh, rotation you can enable and uh, now look at mode needs to be changed to use controller input so this will take uh, same controller inputs as say uh, a character would so you do the same for for move to so also use controller input and that's all you need to do in your actual actual like uh, uh, character or in your ship so just save it and now when it's spawned it will be controlled by the the uh, controller so we're going to change this one as well. It's going to be a simple change. I'll do it later. But now we need the actual AI behavior tree. So like this. And of course, as always, also a Blackboard. Blackboard will uh, store the data for the behavior tree. And let's quickly add a, a variable to it and namely I'm going to just add a single vector I'm just going to call it go so this is where the AI will go like this and now that we have this new behavior tree we can go to our AI controller and the event graph will have just just one function and it will be run behavior tree and it's gonna run the tree where you just create it like this that's all for the AI controller so now we have everything done except the, the actual behavior tree but we need to do one more thing. Since we are using this, this third party, this DOMS 3D navigation, it uh, requires um, to create a area within which it will work. So, hold on a second, I forgot where it is. So here it is, uh, DOM navigation manager. If your uh, level has uh, a limited area, 
you use this one, there's also a unbound. This is used for where, when the levels are dynamically loaded or dy dynamic and it uh, doesn't have fixed size but in current version of uh, 3D navigation this uh, this one uh, causes Unreal Engine to crash it's going to be fixed in the uh, next version the author of this plugin is aware of it okay so for now we are just going to use the standard one so just uh, place it so this cube uh, covers everything where your character can go you can actually change the size here under all the dimensions so I'll just leave it like this and uh, for our convenience I'm going to create one more blueprint class I'll just make it an actor and I'm going to call it now go and everything our our simple basic AI will do is just go to this goal. For now I'll also remove this. So anyway, let's go to finally to our actual behavior tree. Okay, so this is this is root, this is the basic behavior. I'm going to add a sequence here. And finally, uh, we are going to have a new task here, uh, thanks to the 3D navigation, and it's called fly to. So, just put fly to here, and our location key will be goal, and this is the goal vector stored in the blackboard. We also can, uh, just to make things easier for us, we can turn on uh, various uh, visualizations. So we can see like uh, the grid on which it is navigating, its current bay point and so on. Okay, so uh, before we actually can uh, use this, it first needs to to figure out where this goal is so we are going to create a, a, a new, new task let's name it something descriptive like find goal and here we are going to add it to our our sequence and it's of course going to go first for uh, our actual fly tool and it'll be put, uh, event receive execute AI and uh, here we are actually going to create a logic that defines this, this goal so with all actors of class Well, like this. Since there's only one of these, I'm going to just get the first one. Otherwise, I would have to create all the logic to find the nearest one or whichever you want to go to. So anyway, direct location, and here we are going to get the blackboard. And we are going to set value as a vector. And this actor location will go here to key named name go. So that's all. And once this is done, we are going to uh, finish execute so this function is then done and the sequence will move on to 
to our next node, which is fly2. And if I made no mistake here, that should be all that's required. And now, when I actually run the game, see, it's moving towards, towards the target. And if we put some obstacle in front of it, like this cube here, let's place it so it's in the way. this and it will find a way around it now the only only remaining problem is uh, as you can see that the movement is is kind of glitchy and uh, this is due to the fact that the the autopilot of our ship is like uh, too sensitive and uh, wants to follow the the navigation too closely, so we can now like, uh, reduce the sensitivity to say 0 0.01 right here. And as you can now see, it's much, much smoother. And uh, the actual fly tool has also another parameter which is like acceptance radius uh, like this one minimum proximity required and uh, this controls like uh, how close your ship needs to be to the waypoint before it like uh, registers that it flew through it and uh, moves to the next one so we can increase this so the ship will basically take uh, wider turns, it won't try to follow this this path so exactly. And as you can see it now goes much faster. And that's basically all there is to it. Uh, you can find uh, more detailed uh, information about this navigation system on the, on the page of the plugin. It's uh, really very simple, and uh, one thing is that it uh, doesn't uh, actually control the the rotation. To control rotation, you have a different task, and that's rotate to face BB entry. This also takes uh, blackboard P as a parameter. And as you can see, it will basically automatically select it the goal, and it's gonna rotate towards towards this goal. Hold on a second, it was already looking the right way. So if I rotate it away, it will first rotate towards the goal, and then it will fly there. But of course, uh, you can make them uh, like work in parallel. Like you can do this, and now it's gonna execute those two tasks in, in parallel. And there's a little little problem here, and that's this. If I run it, as you can see, it will suddenly stop. And uh, this is because uh, it already finished the first task and it uh, aborted. And uh, to get around this, you can uh, change finish mode to delayed, and uh, with uh, delayed mode, it will only only finish when all the tasks are done. So, like this. Okay, so that's that's basically it uh, for more detailed uh, information. Uh, Take a look at the uh, epics like AI um, AI tutorials uh, because we are basically using uh, default uh, default Unreal AI other than the Dawn's uh, 3D navigation, which I'll link down 
in the description and it also has uh, its own set of of examples 